Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video where I tell you guys the number one reason not to buy a new home in 2021. There was a big price jump on the 1129s. Um, I think almost a $10,000 price jump. Well, since probably the last time you checked, I think maybe... Not since last time I checked. It was a $10,000 price jump on the 1129s. I think it was three seventy five or seventy um, six, and now they're three eighty six, dollars which he called me and told me yesterday. That was a conversation with a new home development down in Marietta, California. But the question is, should you buy new or should you buy used? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about used. I can't lie, I'm a little bit of a sucker for a remodel. Used or older homes come with their own set of issues. A lot of times you got bad plumbing, bad electrical issues, no insulation, so your comfort level's off, termite rot, you name it. There's a whole slew of situations that arise in older homes. But a lot of times older homes have a specific charm to them. They're not the style of homes that you typically see, so they have their own personal unique character, depending on the style or how old that home may be. If an older home has had a previous owner, oftentimes that previous owner, you don't know how they did their repairs. You don't know if it was a Mickey Mouse job. Sometimes you don't know if they pulled permits. But I think the most important thing is, was the work that has been done on this home was it done right? Was it done to code? And so there are concerns there, especially when you're buying a pre-existing used or um, older home. There's nothing worse than buying an older home and finding out that you have to gut the whole thing in order to do plumbing, electrical, uh, because all the work that was done there is faulty and it does not gonna meet your family's current needs. Old electrical systems oftentimes cause fires. Old plumbing systems cause leaks and a lot of damage. Old roofs or roofs not properly done can cause leaking issues that are hard to patch up or fix. Sometimes you just have to redo the entire roof so you can get that new warranty. But if you find a really good old home with nice bones, good bones, good structure, sometimes it's worth it to tear that home down straight to the bones and redo all the drywall, redo all the electrical, redo all the plumbing, move a couple walls and uh, before you know it, you've taken this old home with this old charm and kind of have this newer, modern edge to it, but still somewhat retro, if that makes sense. I mean, new homes have the benefit of being new. New warranties, longer warranties, new roof, new floors, new just about everything. 10 year warranty on a brand new home, I think that's pretty amazing. But let's talk about some of the pitfalls of new homes. One of the biggest disadvantages of buying a new home is that you have to wait for that home to be built. These developments are being built in different phases and depending on when you come into those phases, it's gonna depend on when you're actually gonna get a home. It might be a couple of months, it might be six months, eight months out easily. Another disadvantage is you're limited on the amount of customizations you can make. I mean, typically the builder has a pre-selected types of flooring, types of countertops that you can choose and select from. Uh, cabinet colors and so on and so forth. So if you really wanted to make your new home really unique to you, you would have to actually do a remodel once the builder was done building your home. There's, there's two big reasons why you may not want to buy a new home. And uh, the first one of those two big reasons is that it's a moving price target. Um, early on in the development, you might get some of the better pricings. The further you get into some of the developments, especially in this particular market, the more those pricings go up. So you may not get the home at the advertised price that you're looking at that new home for. Um, so far in this particular market, I've seen the value of some of these development properties go 20, 30, $40,000 up from the original price points. And the second biggest reason you may not want to actually buy a new home in this particular market is there's a waiting list. You have to get into that waiting list as early as possible. And depending on where you are on that waiting list, you could be three, four, 500 names deep. 
Now, a lot of the people actually buying those new homes may drop off and fall off. So if you wait around long enough, you could very easily get one of those new homes. But the problem is, is you just don't know until you wait your time in line. I don't know about you guys. It's kind of like a lottery. I don't know if I would want to wait that long to get into a new home, um, considering how much competition there is out there and also considering my needs. So the question is, should you buy a new home? And I think the answer to that one is, it's gonna depend. It's gonna depend on your current situation. It's gonna depend on your current needs. It's gonna depend on whether or not you have patience or not. Either way, um, I mean, if you have a few months, maybe a remodel makes better sense for you. Maybe you should just buy an older home or a used home and then spend two months remodeling that home and then you'll be in your home. But if you're trying to buy a new home and you need to move and you wanna be moved into your home soon, that's not gonna happen. That's probably not gonna happen with the brand new home. Not likely, but if you're like me and you like remodels, you like to go in and uh, completely gut a place and remodel it, um, and you have those type of skills, then I say 100% for sure, go for it, you know, because um, I think that at that point you have the opportunity to make that house tr uh, truly unique for you. Um, and your family and build it to the needs that you specifically wanting. If there's a wall that you need to move or relocate, maybe you can move that wall, relocate it, open up some of your spaces, put in new finishes, put in high-end finishes, um, you know, the type of finishing touches that you want. One of the things I'm noticing with some of these newer homes is that they're not even putting bathtubs in the master bathroom. They're just putting one really large shower. Why don't you guys drop a comment down below and let me know, are you guys buying a new house? Or are you guys trying to go and get an older home? Buying an older home doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna save money. Oh, and before I forget, I'm Osias and planning your next move is easy with the right people in your corner. All right guys, peace.